Just stopping by, checking out the job site here where Heinz Tree Service has been working. Um, they've been working down here in front of the dam, all along the river, cleaning up the path where all the trees were lever leveled when the uh, Edenville Earthen Embankment failed. See a couple more of their large pieces of equipment down here. So this just looks like a giant brush hog on the front of this. Almost looks like a front end loader, but it's definitely not. Some specialty equipment. And then they have this other large chipper over here. They are very large when you get next to them, but this one is actually dwarfed in comparison to the one that's back here. Maybe I'll try to get out here when these guys are out here working on site again. It says, you know, no trespassing on the other side of the fence right now due to, I mean, construction work going on here as well as the unstable bottom lands. But that chipper back there in the background looks to be about twice the size of the one that's over here behind me, that, that yellow one. Looks like they got a couple different buckets different shredders, front end attachments. I think that's the one that they had on that skid steer. Excavator. And yeah, that red chipper back there in the background is a beast. Everything they threw at that just chipped right up. Even logs that look like they're around two foot in diameter. So this piece of equipment is what they were using to get the logs from out there off the job site. They had a whole pile of logs right here along the roadway. Um, those have all now been taken. I'm sure they took those to make lumber out of them. But yeah, I think work is kind of wrapping up here. They've just been pulling trees that have been along the river path out on a little bit of an island, cleaning up that river path so far. But they got the large area in front of the dam all cleaned up now. I was planning on saving these videos for the next Edenville update. However, editing that video is getting to be a little bit long, so I'm gonna split this off into its own video. Um, this video you're about to see, try not to laugh too hard, um, but this was one of the workers trying to get a boat up river uh, to be able to tie onto some of these logs, some of these trees that you're seeing down here. And he was been a heck of a time getting up the river if you watch the live camera in this area you can tell that it's just all rocky and i don't think the prop on this motor is very good anymore but i'm just going to go ahead and let the video play through now Just a reminder to make sure you keep checking out those live cameras even though it looks like there might not be work going on in a certain area. You never know what you might see out there. Always a ton of wildlife on all of the live cameras. But now we can see Heinz Tree for Service here uh, scooping up a little bit of this brush, tossing it in the chipper uh, to get ground up. A lot of sawdust and wood chips coming out the other side of this chipper. Uh, they ended up just leveling these off in this area. I know there was a couple of people saying, well, would be nice if they could repurpose uh, those wood chips and actually do something of use. Uh, a lot of this wood was probably so rotten uh, that it was probably hard to do something with. This is that large chipper that I was just uh, showing in the footage when I was filming on the ground, though. And you can see how massive this thing is. Looks like it has a roller on the front of it a uh, sort of metal belt feed that drags this brush inside and make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video because I will have a little bit more raw footage both from the drone as well as the live camera and you will be able to see a lot larger stumps and logs that were tossed in this thing somewhere around uh, two foot in diameter like I previously said and I was pretty impressed uh, with the amount that this chipper could take. I'm going to start turning the drone around now and we will be able to take a look at the rest of the work site. At this point, like I said, a lot of the uh, trees were just getting chipped up. 
So they went ahead, removed the logs that looked like they could be usable. They probably went to the mill, but this is all just the smaller brush, uh, the rotten logs that it seems like they weren't able to do anything with. You can see that this was back in the springtime. Things were pretty frozen. And I just went back and looked at the date that I filmed this, and it was March 16th. So you can see that they have made a lot of good progress at this time. A lot of those piles of sawdust out there. But a lot of the logs and the trees that were in this area have now been removed. And uh, yeah, since this time of me filming out there with the drone during the springtime back in March, uh, this area has been just completely leveled. Um, no trees have been planted here yet. But I have heard that that's what's going to happen with this area, that they are supposedly going to be going back out there and replanting trees in this area. Here's a tree that was just uh, placed on the shredder and a fairly large stump. I'll let this play through for a little while. Looks like when uh, the shredder, I don't know if it necessarily gets stuck, but it's under heavy load. Looks like it goes forward and backs up just to kind of incrementally shred the trees and the stumps. But again, this is kind of the area. I'll let this play through for a little while longer, but then I'm going to transfer it over and let the raw video play through. So make sure you stay tuned for the rest of that if you're interested in seeing that. And I will be posting an Edenville update very soon on the rest of the progress that has been made in this area. A lot of grass that was planted and I was actually uh, back out there uh, just now in July and I was able to film how the area looks at present day.
Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.